And finally, what big thing do you want to accomplish today? Get married, adopt a child, get promoted, or write a novel. I'd love to get married today. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Sezraw and welcome to another silly Sims quizzes video where I take Sims quizzes that are from BuzzFeed and see if BuzzFeed can predict me as a person and me as a simmer. Let's dive right in, I've got five quizzes to take today and let's see what BuzzFeed has to say about me. So the first quiz we've got is only a real Sims fan has done 23 out of 32 of the things on this list. So I've been playing The Sims since the year, probably like 2002. So I was about nine when I started playing The Sims. I like to think I've done a lot of things. So let's see if I've done at least 23. I have made a huge family. I do that every single time I play in my personal gameplay. I always make an eight Sim household. I love it. I've definitely built a mansion in The Sims 1, but not in anything else because I suck at building. I've definitely built a house, Control shift c to enter the cheat console, yes definitely. I've used Motherload, I've used Rosebud, I have gone dumpster diving when Eco Living came out. In my personal gameplay I did a rags to riches using dumpster diving only, it was fantastic. Uh, I haven't stolen furniture to sell, I actually haven't done much in the criminal career at all, so. I have definitely had twins, I do the 100 baby challenge. Challenge. So twins is a regular occurrence for me and I have had triplets again in the 100 baby challenge I've had one set of triplets in my personal gameplay. I've had triplets as well So yes, I have had my baby taken away not in like recent years But when I was younger playing the sims, I definitely had my baby taken away. I have adopted kids before It's super fun I have not had a baby with the grim reaper because when I was like nine and playing the sims one I didn't know that you could like do things with the grim Grim Reaper. Can you even do things with the Grim Reaper in The Sims 1 or is it like The Sims 2 and The Sims 3? I have no idea, but it's never really been a priority on my mind. I'm gonna have to do it one day though. I have not bought the goth house. I don't generally play with the goth family like at all and I, I have nothing to do with the land grabs. I stay as far away from the land grabs as possible. I have had vampire sims. I did a hundred baby spin-off. One of my kids wanted to have a vampire family so I turned her into a vampire and we, it was a great time. So I have had a supernatural sim in that I've had a vampire. That's all I'm saying. I have definitely drowned many a sim in a swimming pool and I have definitely killed many a sim in a fire and I have definitely let many a sim starve. I've completed a few t lifetime wishes. I've downloaded many, many, many CC items. Custom content is like a frequent thing in my games. I do not make CC though because I, d I don't know how and I don't have like the creative vision to be able to make things like that. So thank you to all the custom content creators. You guys are amazing. You enrich so many people's games. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have like every single pack that's ever been made ever for all four of the games. I have them all. Like I said, I have them all. Yes, I have them all. <laughs> and I've definitely played The Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4. I have not played Sims Medieval though. It's just not really my thing. I don't know, I'm just not really interested in medieval stuff. That's just me personally. You're probably not gonna see a Sims Medieval playthrough on this channel, I apologize. And of course, like everyone here, I have definitely spent way too many hours playing The Sims. But I love it. So show me my results. Did we make at least 23? I think we did. I think we did. Oh yes! 26 out of 32, hell yes. You love The Sims, I definitely do. You've been, probably been playing for a very long time. It's almost 20 years at this point, and when you do, things tend to get a little wild. I checked more than 86% of quiz takers, hell yes. So the next quiz is, do you play The Sims like everyone else? I can guarantee that I do not, because I don't think it's very common for people to play with eight Sim households every single time they play. So probably not. <laughs> Which version do you play the most? I mean, oh, I like that they've got free play in there. That's interesting that they added free play. But definitely I play The Sims 4 the most. And I guess that is because it's the most recent. Yep, The Sims 4 is the most commonly played. What do you enjoy doing the most? We did this in like the last quiz video that I did. And it was between creating Sims and controlling Sims. Because I really love create a Sim. It's so much fun. But I wouldn't like make The Sims if I didn't then play for them. So I think I'd have to go with controlling Sims. Creating Sims. I had a feeling that it'd be the most popular. That's so interesting. I like that we get to see these results. That's interesting. Favorite type of expansion pack. Oh, oh, 
Stop. No, no, you didn't. You did not put generation slash parenthood in the same question as seasons. How do I pick? They're both so essential to The Sims. The Sims 3 Generations is by far the most love packed of the entire Sims franchise, but Seasons is essential for gameplay. It makes the game so realistic, and so did Generations. I'm not saying that Generations didn't, but just in like having weather in your game, something so basic that's like essential in making it a realistic experience. What do I pick? I suppose I get more sentimental towards like generations and parenthood related packs than I do with seasons. So I will go with generations and parenthood. That was such a tough decision. Pets. Wow. Okay. No worries. Interesting. I see what the people like. Interesting. How many expansion stuff packs do you usually own per game? All of them, literally. I buy all of them. And that's like not because I'm a completionist. It's because I literally just want to have all of them. I want to have all of the gameplay. So what's your favorite way to kill a sim? Taking away the refrigerator and watching them starve to death. Taking away the pool's ladder and watching them drown while well, you can't do that anymore. Causing a fire. Having them electrocute themselves, which is harder than you think, apparently. Causing them to have an intense emotion. I don't kill my sims because I'm not a monster. My way is not listening. Well, I am most definitely a monster, so <laughs> I would probably think that causing a fire. It's so funny because whenever fires happen in my game, I freak out. It is so scary when fires happen, but I also love killing sims by fire. It's just fun. I don't know. It's I'm such a hypocrite, honestly, so I don't kill my sims because I'm not a monster. To the 35%, I am definitely a monster. I am so sorry. Do you use mods? Yes, I 100% do. I use both mods like script mods and custom content. No, 51% don't use custom content. How? Are you on console? Is that the thing you're on console and you can't use custom content? If you're on PC and you don't use custom content, how? I literally, I don't understand how you don't use at least custom content. Do you create a sim version of yourself? Yes, I do. But I play with other sims as well. Yeah, 100%. Yep. <laughs> Very accurate. Do you ever use cheat codes? Yes, I use them all the time, but not for what you'd think. I don't use like money cheats very often. I do like testing cheats. How often do you play The Sims? I would probably go about once a week. <laughs> Oh, is that it? That's all of the questions. That was really, really interesting. So do I play The Sims like everyone else? Like 50-50. I kind of do. I kind of don't. The next quiz we've got is answer these The Sims questions and we'll reveal your exact age. I love these kinds of quizzes on BuzzFeed. Yes, guess my exact age. And just for like reference, so you guys know, I am 28, the ripe old age of 28. I do not feel like I'm 28, but I am 28. <laughs> Choose a neighborhood, Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, Newcrest, Windenburg, San Myshuno, or Brindleton Bay. Now this is really funny. I generally play a lot in San Myshuno, but I don't think I'd live in the city in real life. But but I think I'm probably going to go with San Myshuno just because I play in it probably the most out of all of these other neighborhoods. I just really like San Myshuno. I like the vibes. Choose a house to live in. Probably very hypocritical to what I just picked because I just picked that I would live in the city. But I would pick this house because this is the most like the kind of house I would want in real life. So let's go with that one. Choose an emotional trait. Cheerful, creative, genius, romantic, self-assured, or goofball. I like to think I'm pretty cheerful, but I am 100% romantic. So yes, I'm a hopeless romantic and I love it. Choose a lifestyle trait. Ambitious cat lover, dog lover, vegetarian, lazy or neat. Can we just, could we not have just had animal lover? Because I love both cats and dogs. I think I'm pretty ambitious though. I've had some pretty ambitious dreams for my life. So let's go with this one. Choose a career path to follow. Military, athletic, business, writer, culinary or criminal. Out of all of these, it'd be a writer. Choose a skill to level up. Logic, charisma, cooking, fitness, painting or handiness. Out of all of these, it'd probably be painting. I've always wanted to draw. I cannot draw. I suck at drawing. So like painting would be something I would love to learn how to do or like drawing would be something I'd love to learn how to do. So that's what I would level up for myself in The Sims. Choose a dish to cook. Autumn salad, goopy carbonara, spaghetti, lobster thermidor, grilled cheese or stew surprise. I swear to God, every time they ask a question like this, my answer is always the same. And it's always grilled cheese because I love me some grilled cheese. I'm gonna have some grilled cheese again after I film this video. So grilled cheese. <laughs> Choose a place to woohoo in. The bed, the hot tub, the rocket ship, the tent, the closet, the sauna. Honestly, I'm fine with just the bed. Just to woohoo would be great. <laughs> 
Anyway, and choose a hilarious Sims glitch. Ooh, I love... I love Sims glitches. Oh my god. Oh, we've got some great ones here. We've got a baby cake. This man is drowning in the footpath. What is going on with this little girl? This person is wearing a flesh dress. We've got E.T. here. Baby E.T is here and then this man is very much invading her personal space we're not gonna click that one because that is a no no we do not like that i actually really like this flesh dress that's just like how how does that happen i'm not sure but i'm gonna pick that one <laughs> Wow, BuzzFeed, just flatter me, why don't you? Are you are you trying to compliment me, BuzzFeed? Are you telling me that I look as youthful as a 17-year-old? I will take that, BuzzFeed, but you're wrong. I'm not 17, I'm 28. <laughs> the next quiz we've got is the way you create a sim. We'll tell you which sim neighborhood you should live in. Pick a hairstyle, all the custom content. Yes, I love the custom content. I really like the space buns, but I also really like this swoopy hair? I think I'm gonna have to go the swoopy hair. It takes me back to my emo days. Choose an eye color. Well, I love green eyes. I generally go with green eyes for my sims because I think that green eyes are beautiful. Pick a hair color. Yeah, I'll go with brown. Why not? Now choose a lipstick. I like a good red though. A good red lipstick. Although this is like a pinky red. Oh, it's tough. Probably the red. Add an eyeshadow. Ooh, some interesting choices once again. We've got a red lip and green eyes. So I might even go with this black because I feel like all of these would be just too much for the sim that I'm making. So we'll go with this one. Pick an everyday outfit. I love this outfit. This outfit is so cute. And I love all the different swatches. This is cute though. This is such a casual outfit. Let's go with this one. Why not? Choose a formal outfit. I mean, if you're going to go formal, this really is the only option in my opinion. I actually really like this dress from the base game. It's beautiful. Select some swimwear. I kind of like this one. And with the hat especially, I like that. Let's go with it. Ooh, I, ooh, I'm a classic kind of person. And as such, Veronaville is perfect for you. I wasn't expecting Veronaville, actually. This town with its European landscape, Tudor homes, and Shakespearean street names is buzzing with an attractive young population. Enjoy great Italian food at the Monty family ranch, but don't tell them you've been woohooing with Tabalt Cap. I wouldn't pick Tudor style for myself though, that's interesting. I like that. The last quiz we've got for today is we know if you're a millennial or Gen Z based on how you spend a day in The Sims. Now to answer this question for you guys so that you guys know before I answer all these questions, I'm a millennial. Where are you spending the day? Pleasant View, Midnight Hollow, Strange Town, or Willow Creek? Ooh, Midnight Hollow was always really beautiful to me. I love the kind of like gothic architecture. But let's go. Pick someone to hang out with. Well, it's not going to be the Caliente sisters. It's not going to be Mortimer Goth. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know if I'd pick the Grim Reaper because why am I hanging out with the Grim Reaper? Although, maybe I would hang out with the Grim Reaper in Midnight Hollow. That'd be interesting. Let's hang out with the Grim Reaper. Pick an aspiration. Family, love, popularity, or fortune. Family, 110%. Learn a new skill. Robotics, cooking, scuba diving, or parenting. Cooking. I'd like to learn how to cook. <laughs> pick a buddy to cuddle with. Oh, I love the rainbow kitty cat. This puppy with the bow though. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with the rainbow kitty cat, I think. Pick an inconvenience to deal with. Being abducted by aliens, having the pool ladder disappear, getting set on fire, or getting robbed. I feel like this one is on a completely lower level to these three. These are like devastating life events. They're not an inconvenience. They are actually devastating life events. This is an inconvenience. <laughs> so I'm going to go with getting robbed because I don't particularly feel like being abducted by aliens or dying. So let's just get robbed instead. <laughs> And finally, what big thing do you want to accomplish today? Get married, adopt a child, get promoted, or write a novel. I'd love to get married today. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Why? Well, I was just so surprised to see cat dog on my screen there. But I'm a millennial. Yep, you 100% got it right. You probably grew up going to Blockbuster. Oh my god, don't even start me on Blockbuster. Yes. Watching 90s Nickelodeon, literally, I don't know if you can see. Behind me here is my Nickelodeon shelf, <laughs> which is why my lava lamp is there as well, because it's so nostalgic for the 90s. I love it. And listening to Kelly Clarkson, I did listen to Kelly Clarkson when I was a kid. Uh, Breakaway is 
is a fantastic album. 100% recommend. <laughs> you definitely know your way around The Sims. That I do. So you do know me. You know me. Oh my god. Wow, BuzzFeed. You actually picked it. I mean, you did also say that I was 17 years old earlier. So you don't quite know me because if I was 17 years old, I'd be a Gen Z. But I'm a millennial. So, <laughs> But guys, that's all I've got for this video. Taking some more silly Sims themed BuzzFeed quizzes. These videos are always so much fun. I have a blast with them. There's still a really long list of quizzes that I can take though. So if you like these videos, let me know that you like them by hitting the like button or leaving a comment as well. That'd be fantastic. But if you want to take these quizzes for yourself, I will leave the links to them in the description down below. I'd love to know your answers for this. I'd love to know how old BuzzFeed thinks you are versus how old you actually are. That'd be really cool. So let me know in the comments down below as well. But if you'd like to see more of me and more Sims videos coming up, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!